Hi there, an update on my super long fork. Um, this is me getting closer towards uh, being ready to weld it all up. I will do a mixture of welding and uh, brazing. Um, I will I will add some welding to the areas where the sh um, original fork was just welded rather chunkily so we're going to add some material here so i can clean this up a little bit here this area is fine i pushed up the surface a little bit give it some more nice shape i have cut a um, piece of straight steel that came out of a, a chain stay from an old bicycle um, it has a nice little shape to it at the bottom, it stabilizes a little bit. Um, this is where the old brake lugs were sitting. So I'm going to add some metal in here as well. And then I cut some slots and drilled some holes from the outside so that I can penetrate from <coughs> basically like melting the, the two metals uh, together nicely. and. Uh, for here, after it's welded, I can just uh, hammer it closer to the steel where it's not quite tight. And then I will brace that. So that will be the first time I'll do some bracing. I ordered a kit on the internet. And uh, that'll be my super fork. Um, I have I've given up the idea of keeping it blank, that was my idea, just to sand it all down and paint it clear and keep it raw. Maybe have some nice effects of the um, brazing when it's getting hot and changes color, but uh, there's just too much wrong with this fork. Um, partially the way I have flattened the section here. You see this tube was round so I squashed it with a massive vise in order to get it oval shaped so it would fit the lower legs that I'm inserting. So the bending has left me with some um, less than perfect shaping around here because the tube coming down is still round and it's kind of stubborn. Uh, and I'm going to weld in here just for structure. So this I want totally solid because the fork is so long. I think this is a, a good idea. It gives me a very closed, strong profile on the upper end and keeping the legs not overly crazily long. There is still a whole mass of space here for tire clearance. So that's not going to be in the way. It's just going to be a nuisance with the mud in order to clean it and so on. But I have to die one death um, and there'll be that. So I decided on putting Bondo in the dents and uh, sanding it and painting it with primer first and then it will get a nice coat of titanium metallic either matte or gloss, we will see what I can obtain here in China. So that's the latest update on the fork. Let me disassemble so you can see the individual pieces.